Software and Security Engineering, Lecture 9, Segment 1. My topic for this lecture is dependability, and most of the time I'm going to be talking about safety. Um, however, safety is entangled with security and often with real-time behavior as well in the real systems that you'll end up spending much of your career building. Now, just to remind ourselves, safety-critical systems are those where failure could cause death, injury, or property damage. Security critical systems are those where a failure could allow leakage of confidential data or fraud against payment systems. And real-time systems are those where the software has to accomplish certain tasks on time. Now, you might think, for example, um, that a braking system on a car is both real-time and safety critical. Um, you might even think um, that a website for someone like Google doesn't have really any critical properties, but you'd probably be wrong. Because if you're building a website for a big service firm, you've probably got a service level agreement which says that 99.999% of the time, that website has to serve customers within 300 milliseconds. Because if the ad auction goes down at Google, that's costing serious amounts of money per second. And so many systems that don't appear to be dependable actually have got hidden requirements for safety, security, and real-time performance. So how do we go about thinking about these? Well. The systems that we build nowadays tend to not just be abstract systems, they do stuff in the real world too. They have websites on which people depend to do stuff. Uh, they are software in cars. There are apps that may control uh, vehicles or uh, medical devices or whatever. And so they've got an awful lot in common with the mechanical systems of previous years, with things like bridges and brakes and locks. Um, and in fact, uh, nowadays, uh, many real-world systems of any size and complexity have got software in them, so the world of engineering and the world of software are coming inexorably closer together. So what can we learn from engineering? Well, the key insight here is that in engineering, you study how things fail. You learn an awful lot more from the one bridge that falls down than from the thousand who don't. So next, uh, please watch the video on the collapse of the Tacoma Narrows Bridge.